Air quality is so integral to the health of humans, our environment, and the world as a whole. Unfortunately, due to air pollution, our world's health is at risk. In cities, air pollution is most concentrated. But moving to the country just simply isn't practical due to our growing population. One of the scariest things about air pollution is that you can't really see it until it becomes a serious problem. This is part of the reason why so few people know about the implications of this and what they can do about it. Well, I guess my house has like those things that keep the carbon monoxide out, so like good quality. And then I like fresh air, so I have the window open in my, in my room and then we use fans to like circulate the air. I don't really know what I do at home, just kind of happens. Um, well, for one, like, global warming, like, that's the reason why it's so small, hot, the smog, like, you see it a lot in cities like LA or Toronto even, when it's really warm outside, or a lot of air pollution. Maybe birds are dying. <laughs> okay. Um, like, well, it can cause bad things with your, like, lungs and such, and breathing problems, which can then cause more internal problems that can lead to a lot of deaths and things. There are two types of air quality, indoor air quality and outdoor air quality. Outdoor air quality refers to the air quality in the atmosphere. One of the most common sources of urban outdoor air pollution is mobile travel. This includes vehicles such as cars, trucks, and planes. Smokestacks are also a large contributor to air pollution. Although they are not as common in major cities, they are often surrounding large cities and contribute to that city's pollution. They release gases such as nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, and carbon monoxide. Smokestacks don't only add to pollution, they can also cause acid rain, which damages soil and water life. So what was your experience with the pollution levels there? Um, so it was uh, pretty amazing how uh, Everything looks very blurry out in the distance and uh, you wonder if it's just uh, almost like a fog, but, uh, but it actually is pollution. Um, and when you touch things and then you look at your hands, you'll often see, if you touch yourself, especially your white shirt, you'll find that you leave marks of black on your shirt. Um, and uh, it sounds kind of disgusting, but uh, when you blow your nose, after being in these cities for a while, you actually get black soot. Um, the stuff you blow out your nose. Thank you. Indoor air quality refers to the air quality within buildings and structures. Approximately 3 billion people still rely on burning solid fuels like coal and wood for their heating and cooking. There are many other indoor air pollutants. Radon is a radioactive gas. It is odorless, tasteless, and colorless. It is found in some soils, varying in concentrations. It can enter a home in any place where it finds an opening where the house contacts the soil. It can cause lung cancer. Asbestos is fibrous minerals. It is often found in older buildings and can cause various forms of cancer and asbestosis. Parks not only provide a great space for everyone, but also the trees help to filter out pollutants like carbon dioxide. 
Much like parks, just placing trees in your backyard can be a great way to remove carbon dioxide. Also, green roofs are another solution that is becoming increasingly popular. A building's roof is partially covered in vegetation. This improves stormwater management by reducing runoff and improving water quality, conserves energy, mitigates the urban heat, increases the lifespan of the roof's membrane, reduces noise, reduces air pollution, and provides a habitat for wildlife.